South Florida and welcome to Let's Talk Safe Money with Len Strickler. I'm your host, Spike Spangle. Len, it is great to see you. Yeah, you too, Spike. How you doing? Hey. I know I know you got a new treadmill. I knew you got a new stuff at the beginning of the year. That's what I'm going to be checking in on here. Are those well, yeah, New Year's resolutions? Yeah, right. How are you doing? No, I'm working on it, right? It hasn't become a coat hanger yet. <laughs> well, that's good. At least it's still active. Right. Now, that's a little bit of what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, you know, on our radio show, uh, we talked about uh, in the beginning of the year the kinds of things we want to do to get in shape right. for this year and to get in shape financially. And I wanted to kind of check in and go back over those and, and see where people are at with it because it's the kind of thing that, that really does fall off pretty easily. We start the year with, you know, with great intent to, right. to get a lot of things done and then uh, and then all kinds of falls off. But um, uh, the, these money moves that we're talking about, mm -hmm. uh, just off the top of your head, we'll get into some specifics in a moment, but are there any things for this year, for 2022, that you're thinking that people really should focus on? Is it taxes? Is it the market volatility? Uh, is it their own income stream? Is it Social Security running out down the road? Or is it all the above? All the above. <laughs> <I'm so sorry. laughs> That's right. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, right now we're in a very, uh, you know, volatile market. I mean, we got a lot of pressure in this system right now. Okay. And I mean, not only inflation, we I mean, taxes, I believe, are going to go up. Uh, we got a country that's thirty trillion dollars in, in debt right now, right? I mean, it's it's crazy. Yeah. And we also got things, um, you know, on the foreign front that uh, you know any any of these things could could pop, right? With this pressure in the system, and again, what goes up will come down eventually. And right. So that that's one of our biggest concerns. Yeah, the, the market volatility, just to, just to talk about it, uh, we're still holding at these all-time highs, but you, you've said this before, that uh, uh, the markets generally, historically, if we look at the averages, they kind of correct themselves. I love that term and are to correct, correct themselves. Yeah, right. Know, drop down <laughs> over 10%, uh, usually every seven years. Right. Right. But we're at nearly a 13-year bull run right That's now, right. and you're afraid of that bubble popping. Yeah. Sure. What would be what would be the needle that would pop that bubble? A bubble is it uh, uh, is it something that's going to happen here in the U.S.? I mean, we saw what happened with the pandemic, but yeah. weirdly, that yeah. one came right back up. Yeah, yeah. Is that how the markets uh, well, go when they drop? Well, I mean, you know, to me, think about the unemployment rate. Think about folks mm -hmm. that you know. I was right. flying here uh, was back in October, I think it was, and um, I go to get on the plane, and they. Gentleman comes on the thing and says, "Sorry, folks, uh, we don't have any pilots to get you there." Yeah, so we're all a hundred and some people were in line trying to get you know rerouted. It was, it was a nightmare. So what I'm saying is, we've got people out of work, right? Uh, some of it's being forced, by the way, I think. Okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is ridiculous, but that's another story. Um, we've got inflation, right? That's incredible. I mean, look at all the pressures right now in this system. Something is going to have to give. So, you know, I don't know if it's any one thing. I don't know which one it's going to be. Right. And that's, that's, that's the what's hard scary. thing is, the, is yeah. the speculating on it. You know, nobody's got the crystal ball. And so what you do and what Art does and what your group does at the LS Financial Group is you're trying to really get people as safe as they can Absolutely. while providing an income. You experienced yourself I did. the kinds of ups and downs. Yeah, you no experienced... Way. In your personal life, the kinds of things that, that can affect you. And, right. and so you're not just doing this as a do as I say. You're doing it as you do because you've yeah, experienced I've these experienced things yourself. It. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, some of that experience in 2008, you, you were a lot more diversified into to real estate over there. And nobody, none of us regular folks, right. saw that coming. And so that's, that's kind of what spurned you on into the LS Financial Group. Right, right. correct. That's correct. And, and it feels very similar, okay, today. Look at real estate today. I mean, it's crazy. There are people paying twenty thousand dollars over the asking price. Uh, I've I've heard more than that. I've got oh, friends yeah. in the market right now. I've been looking it's at crazy. stuff myself. But you said we put in a bid fifty thousand dollars over the list over. price, and we didn't get accepted. Isn't that amazing? It, and listen, I'm feeling it. Okay, I I I got hurt bad in '08. I was jumping out of building bad, right? Yeah. And it hurt. It hurt my family. I had to pull my boys out of a private school. I mean, think about it. If you do the wrong thing, folks, it's going to affect your family. It affected my marriage. My wife was, how could you do, how could you do that? How could you lose that much money? I mean, it, it was terrible. But we didn't know what we I, didn't I know. I didn't know. Then, yeah. right. I, That's was... why I say today, folks, please, get out of the Wall Street casino. If you're in retirement, right before, in and right after, we call it the red zone. 
you cannot lose your money. It, your 401k will go to a 201k, and that's what happened in, two, in 2008. That's what right, happened. Right, right. So some and of these... a lot of people don't even know. They didn't even know that they could lose their money in a 401k. Right, right. They didn't even they know thought, where their money was. They thought it was kind of like a pension, like a pension plan, plan, right? Right. And so they saw their account, and when it went down, and I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't yeah. change anything. And you they know, didn't some, realize. Em some employees were suing their employers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For that same reason. Yeah. And so some of the things that we wanted to do, you were talking about the things we can do to, to make a big difference in this year and to, to make sure that we, that we get safe. And I'm going to read off a couple of them. These were things we did on our radio yeah, show right. together. And you said, um, if you're still working, try to raise your retirement savings. Yeah. Always, always a good idea. But this was huge to me. This always sticks out. <clears throat> also, uh, if you're a little bit older, if you're over the age of 50, you've got those catch-up provisions. Right. Uh, those numbers change every single year, but it's uh, over 7,000. I forget Seven, exactly what they 14 are. 14 right for married. Yeah, if you're okay. married, 14,000. In your practice, how often do you see that people actually take advantage of the catch-up contribution, you know, is it is it is it a vast majority, or is it usually overlooked? You know, it's it's interesting. It, again, we put all this back on folks, right, to, to manage their own money. You know, we used to have pensions, like I said, my grandmother. Your, I think as you said, it was your yeah. dad or your grandmother. Yeah. You know, she worked 42 years mm -hmm. at Westinghouse. She had a nice pension. Okay, but all of a sudden now people have to work. You know, do this on their own. This is so overlooked. Pe people don't even know it's available. They don't even know how to strategize this. You can do take this catch up, right, and do it for the uh, April 15th for last year. You got to April 15th to do it, right, and you can do it for the new year. Yeah. yeah. So we we have, we count people. Look, date the check for 2021. Seventh, fourteen thousand. You and the wife, okay, and then let's date the other check for 2022. Yeah. And, and the way, think about it, that, that I started to, that, that actually got excited about doing a catch-up contribution is, did you make it through last year okay? Did you have enough in savings? Did you have any huge expenditures? You did? Great. Then you can go ahead and take that money out of that savings bucket, that emergency bucket maybe. Put it, yeah. Put it for your catch-up contribution and start yeah. the year now, over notice again. Now, notice where we want to put that, though, in a Roth. Right. We want to get that money right. into a Roth. Anything and why Roth, the Roth? Anything Roth and life insurance are the only two things in that tax-free bucket, all right, that's going to be allowed. So let's get as much Roth as we possibly can. So that's the other thing. We have folks that come in, they don't even know what a Roth, they don't know the difference between an IRA, a Roth, and a Fort. They just don't know. Right. So we, we do a lot of work to educate them. You know, I've written, co-authored a couple books. Mm -hmm. Art and I wrote a, a book here recently called The Five Steps to Your Safe, Secure Retirement. By the way, I'd love to be able to give that to you if you call the number, 844-299-0355, folks. I'd be more than happy to get that in your hands. It's a great little book that you'll love. Uh, it just goes through seven good steps to take. I'd love to have that, get that to you. So, yeah, these are some of the things, Spike, that we, um, that we want to help folks with. Right. They, don't, they just don't get it. We, we've got a few more. Uh, we're going to take a very quick break right now. We're talking about the kinds of small money moves that you can make to be a little bit more effective this year. Uh, if you haven't done your catch-up contributions, if you survived last year, why don't you do that for yourself? And as Len was saying, get that into your Roth. If you don't know how to do that, give us a call, 844-299-0355. More Let's Talk Safe Money with Len Strickler right after this break. How confident are you in your current financial plan? Do you know with certainty how the recent market volatility will affect your future hopes and dreams? How much are you paying in taxes? And how much are you losing to unnecessary high fees? You didn't work to save this money so that you could spend your time worried in retirement. Now is the time to take charge of your finances so you can feel confident about your future. Call in during the next 30 minutes of today's show only to set up an absolutely complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review that will result in your own customized written plan. This is a $999 value that we're giving away complimentary to the first 10 people who respond. We'll start with a full-blown analysis of what you already have. By running a report to untangle how much you are currently paying in fees, how you're allocated for risk, and what it's costing to work with your current advisor. Next, we'll identify your goals. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? 
Where do you want to go? And who do you help to go there with? Is your current financial plan set up to get you there without mishap? Let's design a roadmap to create a financial plan you can follow with confidence. Get the piece that so many people are missing from their retirement. Find out how having a written plan can make a difference to your retirement dreams. Call now to schedule your complimentary, no obligation, full-blown financial review today. Welcome back to Let's Talk Safe Money with Len Strickler. I'm your host, Spike Spangle. Len was talking about some small money moves, little things that can help your year be a little bit more effective. And uh, just to continue through that list there, one of them is assessing through your budget. And I've got to be honest, Len. When, when I read that from you, when I see the word budget, I see the word diet. You know, the things I've got to limit, things absolutely. I've got to get rid of. Absolutely. Can, can a budget be a positive thing it, to look forward to? It, absolutely, especially when you're in retirement. I think it's really important. It's important any time, really, but particularly in retirement because you've got to remember you're now on a fixed income, right? But you're, you're absolutely right. That word budget, yeah. back in the day, my, my wife, when I went through some financial stuff and I took our family through it got a living trust the whole thing and I put her on a budget oh my she hates that word <laughs> she, I mean really you hate you say that word to, to Marsha you know of course God bless her soul she's passed on but yeah. but I mean it, it's just one of those things you're right people don't really want to do it but it's important now we'll help you do that all right we do have a CPA on board with us okay some of mm -hmm. our clients actually come to us and they literally want us to do their accounting they want us to do their books for them. And so we'll do that. We have that service that we mm -hmm. can do it. But you also have software out there, okay? Quicken Books. I mean, there's a number of different software tools that make it really easy. Right. So, but I would say, it, yeah, that's one of the things. G get a budget uh, as hard as it is, right? Sit down together and do it together, by the way. I was going to say, do it together. <laughs> yeah. And I, another, uh, maybe a different way to frame it or a different way to think about it is rather than thinking of a budget, because we're thinking about what we're minusing, how about just writing down what our monthly expense, what, what yep. we do, where do we spend our money? Because right. I think some people are surprised when they see that on paper. Have you had that before? Absolutely. You have somebody come into your office and say, do you know what you spend per month? And, Absolutely. Absolutely. No idea. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, and then we start, and I have to dig it out of them. Right? I had a lady in the other day, bless her heart, she just was fighting this whole thing, but she knew she had to do this, right? Mm -hmm. She was on a fixed income. And uh, she, so I kept, <laughs> all right, what's the electric bill? How much? What's the water bill? Okay. And I mean, I went through and every you took the patience single, to go through yeah, I that. went through it with her. I really did. And, and, and once she saw it, like you said, once you see that on paper, it makes a big difference. It's like doing a plan. Once you see that plan on paper, it's like, wow. It's like you, the light bulb yeah. goes off. And it's know? not saying that you don't want to have a meal out, or you don't oh, want to buy no, a lunch no, no. when you're in a hurry, but when you start to see it on paper, you get to have an active choice right. in what you're Absolutely. doing. Absolutely. As opposed to going, all right, we've got to, we've got to cut down on what we're spending right, here. Right, cut down yeah. what we're spending. That's, that's never any fun. But um, that's, a, that's a great way. So just kind of sit down. Uh, do you suggest doing it maybe with a bottle of wine as well? Uh, that'd be all right. fine too, yeah, you know, whatever fun, works. You know, just, you know, but you do want to know what what your partner what their goals are too what spending are they that you got to put into this budget you know um, and then you know I may want to golf and she goes, no you can't go we can't golf three four times a week says, <laughs> whatever but you work yeah. it out together right yeah and I think it's important to do it together. absolutely uh, oh this was this was I, I thought a great one and so much easier now you said make a home movie yeah, I think, uh, you know, go through and get a home. We, we got on our iPhones today. It's so yeah. easy to do. But, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You know, you don't know what hurricanes where I live, right? I lived through a couple of those hurricanes. Mm -hmm. They were brutal. Matter of fact, Charlie was really bad in Punta Gorda. I had a house. And it. we had houses, boats on other streets. I mean, it was bad. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, get, get a movie um, of all your stuff that you have, right? Your furniture. Everything. If you got a gun collection, whatever you got, coins. Get a movie of everything you have, and if you got a fire or you got a hurricane or whatever, something happens, you know you've got a movie. Okay, of all your stuff. And I, so this I actually, is for insurance. I planning. actually take serial numbers on the back of the TV. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll take their serial numbers and everything. So. Yeah, it's for insurance purposes. Important to have those things. These are all uh, great ideas, small little money moves right now. And I think the next part would be, does everybody do all of this planning on their own? 
or, you know, it, it can be really difficult. You know, we, we want to start to take a look through the life insurance. Do we have enough? We need to start to take a look through the investments. The smaller thing, like the budget and so forth, those are a little easier to kick off, but it just starts to feel overwhelming if we're doing it by ourselves. It's hard to stay on that track. What, what do we do there? Well, I mean, again, it goes back to getting professional help, folks. You know, whether you go, come to us or go somewhere else, you need to get a plan, okay? You've got to have professional help. I mean, if you had heart surgery like I did, would you not want to go get a second opinion and would you not go to a professional? Yeah. Of course you would, you know? So make sure you seek out somebody that's a fiduciary, okay? That okay. means that they got your best interest at heart. Now, that kind of has always been interesting to me. I got a little certificate and I took a course that says I'm a, now a fiduciary, okay? And it just means do the right thing. Well, I didn't need that piece of paper to say yeah. that, to do the right thing. But you do want to have somebody that's a fiduciary, right? Because there's a lot of fly-by night operations. So when you say by, by doing the right thing, I'm, I'm wondering how that can actually manifest. Do you mean somebody being put into a vehicle that's not appropriate that, for them that, that or happens. a risk? Sure. That's, not that, that's where annuity's got a bad name. You, you, had, you, had, you had these advisors and brokers running after the money running after the commission. Look, Art and I, the way we get paid, folks, I'm, I'm transparent with folks. With what I do with getting your money safe, I'm paid like a real estate agent, anywhere from 4 to 6 percent. And I'm paid one time by the insurance company, never comes out of your money. Now, if we manage money, right, on the other side of our house, then that's different. But even there, we usually do a 1.2 to 1.5 fee, management fee, and that's it. There's okay. no other fees inside there, right? So I just want people to know that when you get a professional, you know, get one that's got your best interest at heart. You're going to get the right answers, okay? And and maybe somebody who can explain their, their fees and their costs. Absolutely. Quite on, it's a business. We get well, absolutely. it. Absolutely. But you said that's so clear, even I could understand it. <laughs> See, yeah. you've got the managed money, and then you've got something, and, and you know, if it's something that's going to work for you, right. it's kind of like a real estate of 4 to yeah. 6 percent, and, and that's, that's it. it. And you, what you're trying to do is make sure that it's safe and that it's got the income you need all right. of the time and, uh, and that it goes all the way, as you say, the distance the through distance. retirement. Yeah. So in being able to do that, can you tell me a little bit about the income analyzer? There are viewers out there right now, and they're wondering sure. how exactly can they have their money put together safely. Please tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, the income analyzer, it it's kind of reminds me of, um, of Shaq O'Neal. Okay, most folks know Shaq, right? He's a big old basketball yeah. player, right? And he's a very good businessman. But when he came into the league, he had a financial advisor that was very smart. He said, Shaq, we're going to get a million dollar annuity every single year for you, okay? A guaranteed lifetime annuity of a million dollars every year you're in the league. Because you don't know when you're going to go down. A knee goes out, blown out. You don't know if you're going to keep your endorsements, right? Now, he's done very well. He's a mm -hmm. good businessman. Yeah. But he did that, and in a, in a magazine, I think it was Bloomberg magazine or whatever, financial magazine in 2016, he actually told this story, Shaq did, and he said, it's unbelievable, folks. He said, I know that my floor is covered, yeah. and that's what the income analyzer does. It makes sure that you have your paycheck first, and then you can have a playcheck. That's the book that yeah. I collaborated with with Tom Higna, Paychecks and Playchecks. We want to get that, that income analyzer is going to tell us and get that floor for you taking in taxes and inflation so that we, you know your money is going to go the distance with you. Folks, if you want to make sure that you've got all of your costs covered through your retirement, that you can get through safely, then please call the number you see right here, 844-299-0355. As you can imagine, Len's schedule fills up quickly, so please do act now so you can make sure that you get your appointment as soon as possible. More Let's Talk Safe Money with Len Strickler when we get back right after this break. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? 
Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. Welcome back to Let's Talk Safe Money with Len Strickler. I am Spike Spangle. We're going to get to some consumer questions right here, but there's a project that you have been a part of that yeah, you're really excited about. Very much. It's called the Baby Boomer Dilemma. Right. You're hosting it at AMC Theaters. Uh, dates are various and so forth, so obviously call the number you see on the bottom of the screen. But what is this film about? Why are you so excited to be a part of this project? Yeah, this pro- it's an MPA, okay, a, a motion picture, a real motion picture now that's PG rated. And it's, it's a movie, a, a documentary, if you will, on the somewhat failed retirement process that we've had in place. Okay? I know you're trying to mince your words because yeah, the it, movie it, really goes at it. It's a it documentary. Does. And it goes after pensions. Yeah. Okay. Are, are, are they going to be there for you? Let's, we'll see the movie. Um, so security, would it be there for you? I don't know. See the movie, yeah. See the movie. Exactly. But you've got Nobel Prize winning folks and your economists, okay? You've got David Walker in here, who was the uh, U.S. Com- uh, com- comptroller to the U.S. Mm-hmm. He's got like, the CPA for the whole U.S. under Bush. Right. He's in here talking about the science, folks. The tax train is coming. Taxes are going to double. They have to. Right. right. So um, it, it's the kind of thing that the, the onus of retirement has been put on our shoulders. Uh, we used to receive pension plans, and it's just it's a scarier landscape. So uh, you're going to be there then at the we'll screen. If you show yep. up early, you'll get complimentary popcorn and a go. soda. Uh, if you'd like to see the baby boomer dilemma in theaters here in Florida, all you got to do, complimentary, call 844-299-0355. And I'll send you the trailer. Yes, yes, we'll send that out to you. Let me get to a couple of consumer questions, if we can, real quick, Len. I have to start taking my required minimum distributions, and I have three different IRAs. Should I take some money from each account or take it all from one? You know, we get this question quite often. Um, you know, my partner, Art, he really, and Carrie, you know, they go into some of these deeper questions, okay? But on this one here, you can take your money anywhere you want, okay? You can take it out, all out of one account. I mean, it doesn't matter. They're going to add everything up, right, For um, in that what we call a provisional income, okay? And they're going to add everything up, all your income. They're even going to take half your Social Security, which I love this. I love how the government just keeps <laughs> after us. And they're going to add it all up, and then that's what you're going to have to, you know, pay. And it's usually about 3.5% to start in the first year, right? But here's the thing, very important. If you miss it, here's how important they are getting their money back. If you miss that and don't turn it in, your RMDs, it's 50% penalty. You said, you said 50, 50, not 15, right? 50%. It's the largest penalty in all in the taxes. In all the taxes. So they are serious about getting their money back, folks. So, you know, don't don't get caught <laughs> not doing this. But it doesn't matter what, uh, you know. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter the account. What count. I'm sure you hear this. Uh, I, I've experienced folks as well. They say, well, I, I don't need it. I don't want it. I want to leave the money in there. What can they do with it if they don't need it for their current expenses? They they, they got to take it. Right. Can they invest it elsewhere? Oh yeah, yeah. They can do do whatever they want with that with the money. I mean, you know, we can put it over into another account. You know, Mm -hmm. whatever they want to do, if they don't need it. And a lot of people, you're right. They say, well, I don't really need this. Yeah, but the government wants to tax. Yeah. And 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 the reason why is that it's been able to stay tax tax deferred for thirty or forty years. So it's fair, but. Now we got to pay the piper. The right. IRS wants their little They're bit of it, and, um, yeah. and then we're going to take that out. All right, so take it from any account that you can as long as we take the right amount. Right. Got another question here from Kenny. I just retired, and I have decided uh, I should leave my money, or I have to decide if I leave my money in my 401K with my previous employer or move it to an IRA. I know that the IRA gives me more investment options, but do I really need them? I also need to decide if I should place it in the funds in the, oh, I need to decide what to do with my target date fund and wonder how that all should right be on. managed together. Target date funds, Len, uh, this is something that uh, a lot more retirement accounts are starting to use. So that, that target date fund that's in there, that, that pretty much did its glide down 
Is that something that, that he should just be taking everything out right now? Take everything out of that 401k? Uh, go ahead and get that yeah. target date fund out of there? Or? Yes. That's, we, we, uh, we encourage folks to do that. Um, again, when he talks about, you know, should I move this money, mm -hmm. um, you, you don't want to leave it you know, it, it, with a former employer, okay? But I think it's a natural reaction. I think a lot of people say, you know what, uh, it did it, well. It is. There's X amount of dollars in there. Right. But you're saying move it along with Well, you. that's right, and, and you gotta remember, where where's that money at? I'd it's, say it's inside it's, somebody else's funds And account, it's probably right? in mutual fund stocks and bonds. You're back in the market. We've gotta get this money safe. Yeah. So here you are back in the market. I would say, and Art and I always say, look, even if there's a lump sum that you get and they tell you, well, you can get this much for the rest of your life, get the lump sum. Take that out and let us put it somewhere where it can really go to work and it's safe. Yeah. So I would suggest that he does move this money and he gets it in. And, and really, if we can get it over into a Roth IRA, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, we could do an entire show on target date funds. We only have a couple of minutes left. Um, can you just describe a little bit, for, for those who might be hearing it or confused on exactly what they are, these target date funds are placed inside your retirement accounts. Is this now the more effective thing to be using instead of your own 401k because it's, it's managed for you and supposed to become less risky? How do you feel about target dates? No, I, I think, again, you're right back with somebody else managing your money, all right, making decisions for you. Um, <clears throat> it, when you see the movie, all right, The Baby Boomer yeah. Dilemma, uh, it'll answer a lot of these questions. Right, right. So for the folks who are watching right now, I, they have all of these kinds of questions for you as well. Tell me a little bit more about the income analyzer. We know that we've got a complimentary process. You've got the, also the safe money scorecard. Right. <clears throat> so for anybody who can call you on this number right now, what exactly would you be able to do for them when they get to the office? Well, first off, you know, we want to get some basic information, obviously, you know, to be able to help them. Yeah. Uh, but a simple process really is I only need two things to run the, the principal protection plan which is our scorecard, where we can show them four different investments, right, and exactly design them differently. Some will be, one might be a guaranteed lifetime income, uh, one might be kind of a hybrid, another might be uh, long-term care is mm -hmm. built into it. So we want to show them uh, the difference between those. Right. And that process is complimentary it's for complimentary. those who call into the show. Right. Folks, thank you so much for joining us for Let's Talk Safe Money with Len Strickler. If you have any retirement planning needs and want your complimentary income analyzer, all you have to do is call the number right there on the screen, 844-299-0355. For Len Strickler, I'm Spike Spangle, and we'll be back with more Let's Talk Safe Money next week.